Now we're in the structural steel. This connection has been through a number of steps. First, the raising gang brought it together and put in no less than two bolts to hold the connection temporarily. Iron workers can use the rat tail of their wrench to align the bolt holes to assist with this. And also drift pins are used to hold and pin the connection so that bolts can be installed without damaging threads or anything like that. These bolts have all been snug tightened. So now we're up to the step where we can remove the uh, drift pins, install the last few bolts, and snug these so that we will be able to then move on to final tightening. Now we're gonna move on to final tightening of this structural connection. We're gonna proceed from the middle of the connection to the free edges. We've matched marked all the assemblies in this case. Uh, in the traditional method, if we're not using a high torque backup washer, there will be an iron worker uh, required to be on the back holding the head of the bolt so it doesn't rotate while we're doing our final tightening. Uh, alternatively, one could use a magnetic backup wrench from high torque. That's probably a safer option than trying to hold on to a, uh, a spud wrench during tightening. So we start from an area of intimate contact. This tool is already set up for the 120 degrees of final rotation. We of course also have the match marks to assist the inspector if they wish to look at the connection in addition to the app data. And there, now we've completed tightening of all of these fasteners in this structural connection. Uh, the inspector can either now verify that by looking at the match marks we provided, or perhaps easier is just look at the app. We've been collecting the data and transmitting it from the tool while we were tightening.